Hey guys, Anthony here. In a recent Realtor.com survey, 73% of parents said that school district boundaries was an important criteria on where they were deciding to purchase their next home. 78% of those parents also said they would give up must-haves on their dream list, their search criteria, such as a garage or a basement, a fenced yard, etc. if they could ensure their child was gonna be in the very best school district possible. Guys, as parents, we know how important this is and the role that a teacher or a school plays in early childhood development. It could greatly impact where they go to college, the career they get into, whether they're successful or not. It is super important and very impactful on their life. And that's why in this video, we're talking about Atlanta Metro's top five school districts. Let's begin. What's up guys? My name's Anthony Laborde. I'm your YouTube realtor here in Atlanta, Georgia. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing because this is where I talk about all things living, working, playing in the ATL. Today we're talking about school districts. It's super important to know what district your child is going to be in when moving to an area. But before I jump into the districts themselves, I want to talk a little bit about how they're scored. Georgia Department of Education uses a CCPRI grading system. That's a College and Career Readiness Performance Index. It looks at ACT, SAT scores, graduation rates, uh, performance indexes, meaning what's the gap between the lowest and the highest, number of factors that go into it that give us a really good idea of how a school district is performing and the path that they're going on. So here in the Atlanta metro area, we have 36 school districts. Today, we're looking at the top five. We're also looking at five of the largest school districts. A number of these are very small. They only cover a couple of, uh, a couple of schools in a small rural area. We're not considering those. We're looking at the big ones in the Atlanta metro area. The top five, let's begin. Located just 30 minutes north of downtown is the second largest school district in all of Georgia. It's the 23rd largest in the nation, and that is the Cobb County School District. Cobb County consists of 130. 13 schools, 17 high schools. Of those 17 high schools, there's 16 of them that have AP Honors certification to them. There's 113,000 students, there's 18,000 employees that work for the Cobb County School District. That makes it the largest employer in all of Cobb County. Cobb has also been voted number three in terms of the best districts in the Atlanta metro area for athletes. Been voted number eight in the entire nation. They could pump out some athletes there. East Cobb has one of the best travel ball, high school baseball complexes I've seen in the entire Southeast. But the school district itself has brought home championships in pretty much every sport possible. Uh, baseball, softball, football, basketball, men's and women, men's and women track, uh, you name it, they have championships in it. Not only is Cobb known for its athletes, it's also known for its performing arts. Check this out, 62 plays on Broadway or London's West End all have graduates from the performing arts program at Pebble Brook High School there in Cobb. That's crazy. The average ACT score in Cobb is 26. The average SAT score is 1200, much higher than the national average of 20 and 1060. Cobb also boasts a graduation rate of 84%. Now, this is one thing that most people don't understand. When you hear graduation rate, that doesn't mean that 16% of them didn't graduate. All that means is 84% graduated in four years, didn't have to take any more classes, graduated on time. 16% Took a little bit more time. If we continue up 75 onto 575 and into the Woodstock city limits, we're gonna run into number four on our list, and that's the Cherokee County School Districts. Cherokee County's got 37 schools. It represents about 42,000 students. Uh, nowhere near the size of Cobb County, but definitely still one of the largest one on this list. And just like the Cobb County School District, Cherokee County has won numerous awards from the Georgia Department of Education. This is a list of awards and recognitions for 2018-19 from the Georgia Department of Education to Cherokee County School Boards. And it's everything from their energy and financial efficiencies to how innovative they are, uh, the second and third highest averages of ACT and SAT scores, and the fact that all their high schools are AP accredited and their nutrition program even got an award, the Golden Radish Award. In addition to the Georgia Department of Education, we also have a group of community organizers, parents, teachers, groups that vote on the rankings of different districts around the Atlanta metro area and different subjects. And you can see here that Cherokee County ranked in the highest for safety, diversity, the athletes, the best places to teach, just goes on and on. Great school district. All right, so leaving the north side of town, we jump on 75 and head south. We go through downtown, we pass the airport. Outside of the perimeter, we get to number three on our list, and that is Fayette County 
School District Fayette County has 24 schools in there. It hosts 20,000 students. Again, much smaller than Cobb and Cherokee, but still one of the largest in the area. Over 65% of their students are proficient in reading and writing skills. Eight of their schools recently have been awarded to the highest gains and performance awards. In order to get this award, you have to be in the 93 percentile of the CCPRI score for three plus years running. Fayette County has an 89% graduation rate. That's way on up there. Uh, their average SAT score is 1170 and their average ACT score is a 26. Fayette County has won titles in basketball, football, softball, and wrestling, but their most decorated activity in the district is the speech and debate team who has won the championship every year, except for three years, since 1988. Go debate team, yeah! Now, similar to Cobb and Cherokee County, Fayette County has also been voted as one of the best districts in all of Georgia, especially here in the Atlanta metro area. You can see here, one of the most diverse, safest, best for athletes, best for the teaching, just an all around great school district. And another little fun tidbit of information, Mike Duke, if you're familiar with the business world, he's a CEO of Walmart. He graduated from Fayette County Schools. Leaving the south side of town and headed back towards the city, we come to number two on our list, and that's Decatur City School District. Decatur City covers four square miles. It's the smallest of all of our school districts. It's 15 minutes just east of downtown. It's basically right in downtown. Uh, eight schools, 5,200 students. Even though it's one of the small, it's one of the most successful school districts in all of Georgia. It's highly ranked in every category. Get this, they have a 96% Graduation rate there, that's pretty high. 70% of their students are proficient in reading and mathematics. It's a 15 to one ratio, and over 75% of their teachers have advanced education degrees. If you're familiar with Decatur at all, you know what a unique, cool community it is. It's very eclectic, a lot of cool things going on there. It's very different than the other parts of Atlanta, especially in that downtown area. That goes the same for their school districts. Most of the school districts we've talked about are blue ribbon school districts, very high in their academic scores. Decatur City School District is known as a green ribbon because of focus on sustainability and energy efficiencies. They have a number of programs in place that make them energy efficient. They have LEED certified buildings. They have water preservation programs going on. All of their cleaning materials are now green materials. And they're one of the only school districts in all of Georgia and the country that have been recognized by the Department of Agriculture for their farm to food program. Just a really cool program. It's one of the, again, one of the only ones in Georgia that do this, where they team up with local farmers in the area and grow their own food and bring it to the lunches. No more of that crappy lunch lady food. You have real farm food. Decatur is also one of the largest participants in the country in the walk to school program. Because it's so safe in this area and it's a really small community, over 50% of the students walk to school. It's part of their sustainability program, so you don't have as many cars on the road, not as many emissions in the air. The initiative won them the Safe Routes to School Partner of the Year from the Department of Education. They've also been recognized by the U.S. Green Building Organization for a number of their buildings being LEED certified. Leaving the south side of town, we head north, go through downtown, past the perimeter, up to Lake Lanier and the coming area, and we come to number one on our list, and that is the Forsyth County School District. Forsyth County has 38 schools, has 46,000 students in it. It boasts the highest CCRPI scores, the highest graduation rate at 96%. That's crazy. It has the highest SAT and ACT scores in all Atlanta metro area has three nationally accredited STEM schools, nine blue ribbon schools, 12 government office of student achievement award winning schools. I had to look that one up. It's also an advanced placement honor roll district. And to say this school district has won numerous awards is an understatement. Forsyth County has literally won every award and been acknowledged for every category on the state and the national level. Everything from academics, athletics, their debate team, speech, teacher of the year, principal of the year, coach of the year, you name it. I mean, this list is literally like two or 300 deep on how many awards and recognitions. And on top of that, the community of Cumming and Lake Lanier is a beautiful area, but it also has won all kinds of awards for being the most affluent, the most growth, best place to raise a family, most innovative community in Georgia, healthiest county in Georgia, the top 10 growing. Guys, you get the point. I could go on and on and on. It's an amazing school district, an amazing community. Uh, they've been in the top rankings for many years. There's a reason why the people in this area are just phenomenal. They put a lot of effort and time uh, and resources into their school district. And that's why they are number one in the Atlanta Metro, number three in Georgia, and one of the very best school districts in all of the country. 
Guys, that is a wrap. Thanks for joining me on this list of top five school districts in the Atlanta metro area. Hopefully you learned something from it. If you have any questions at all about anything in Atlanta, living, playing, working, doesn't matter what it is, hit me up. My contact information is below. If you know somebody or you yourself are thinking about moving to Atlanta, relocating here, and you have questions, I would love to help you out. Again, thanks for joining me, guys. Check me out next time. Have a great day.